Instant for the official introductions of our middleweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Our next fight is a middleweight fight consisting of three five-minute rounds. Beginning with the fighter standing to my left. He is a submission fighter and former Golden Gloves boxing champion and USKA kickboxing champion. Standing five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 196 pounds. Fighting out of the lion's den in Dallas, Texas, please welcome El Toro, Alex Andrade. And his opponent, he is a jiu-jitsu expert and UFC 9 veteran. He has a mixed martial arts record of two and two. Standing five feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 195 pounds. He's fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Please welcome to the octagon, Amore Bertesh. And our referee for the rest of the evening is Big John McCarthy. Big John McCarthy, a constant since UFC 2, his 29th Ultimate Fighting Championship. Set to get the middleweight fight underway. See what these guys got. Let's get it on. And right away, we need to set the stage. Andrade is wearing shoes. He will not be able to kick, even though people say he's got good kicks. Said he sacrificed the kicking opportunity for traction by wearing the shoes. Andrade, a member of the Lions' Den. Guy Mezger in his corner. Ken Shamrock in attendance here tonight. As is Trey Telegman. And Batesh very confident coming out of the fighting country of Brazil. Tries to shoot. Looking for the takedown. Cover the head up position. Nice knees. Now Batesh is giving away about 12 pounds and he has said in some pre-fight interviews that he is a bit concerned about that. He'll set that potential storyline early, see if it becomes a factor. Work for position, Alex, relax. Well, hopefully he'll set the tempo right off the bat by using his jiu-jitsu on the ground, so we'll see what happens. Nice, nice. Now, Tito, we know one thing. You, as a middleweight, still, because of your ability to, to work the weight on your body, you are generally the bigger guy inside the octagon when you fight, and you look at that as an advantage. Oh, of course, right off the bat. I mean, I work to cut the weight off and put it back on. That's the advantage. I got it down to a science. No one else can do it. That's what's lucky for me. The danger always is that you gas yourself. Tito has not had that problem. Tito Ortiz sitting in the booth there, our middleweight champion. Set the, set the line straight. Cardio will never be a factor for Tito Ortiz. Patesh winging big Man, leather against Andrade. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, he in the eye. Him in the eye. Him in the eye. That's he get from trying to swing and punch wild. Got his eye good. Got his eye really good. Andrade shaking up. We'll see how much Andrade got to coming back after that right hook he got. But he's a gold, former Golden Gloves boxing champion, so he's been hit before. But it's different when you get hit without a glove. Exactly. You have 16 ounce gloves protecting your hand compared to these little three ounce gloves. It's a lot different. I really think Patesh has startled Andrade with his power and his straightforward punching. One, two, Alex. Doing it again. Left hook gets in. That's for, that straight jab works. Oh, and hits, and hits him. That's the point. He kicked him when he was down. That's one down. That's That's he corner, kicked him when he down. You cannot kick an opponent when he is down. Yes. Especially when you have shoes. Those are not split. One point. Shoes. Yep. Regardless, there's no kicking when your opponent is down. Not at all. Plain and simple. John McCarthy jumps right in. The point, the foul, has been given. There's that left hook that put him down. And as he went to get up, you saw the leg come in and kick. Patesh. Big job, McCarthy, immediately in there, recognizing the foul. He went over, warned, told the judges of the foul, informed both quarters of the foul, and they'll start again. All right, here we go. This is getting good, Jeff. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Down goes Patesh. Oh, they have to throw a foul. Andrade with a flurry. Nice. He's working. It's not over yet. Let him go. Still lots of time remains in round number one. Something tells me this will not go the distance. No, he's got to throw heavy leather in here. Don't know which way it's going yet, Tito. No, nope. but I don't think it's going the distance. <laughs> <laughs> he 
These guys are head hunting. Wow. The momentum just building towards the crescendo that will be later on tonight when the heavyweight title is on the line. Kevin Randleman, and Pedro Hizzo. These middleweights. Tito, a commentator tonight, also a student. Watching very closely because you might see one of these guys inside the padded and gated wall sometime down the road. Bring it on. Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, lots of energy in this first round. The momentum, as you said, Mike, back and forth. Right now it seems that Andrade feels now a little more confident that he can hurt Tesh with his punching. Well, it's good because he's throwing a straight jab and then he throws a right hand left hook. Using combinations like that with a jiu-jitsu guy, they're not used to it. So that's why he is catching with hooks and punches. So it is nice. I think Andrade earned a little respect for Amari Patesh yes. in that exchange earlier. I truly believe that Patesh surprised Andrade with his brazen confidence walking in and throwing big bombs. But look how nice it is. Andrade pulls him to his corner so he can listen to the guy. That's very good on his side of these. Tactics by our middleweight champion. And Vitesh now throwing punches. What an exchange from both fighters here in round number one. Yes, let's we'll see how much cardio they got. This is yeah, only five minutes. And another foul. That is another right foul there, against Andrade. He kicked again. Well, now this time the, the difference is he right kicked here. and he has shoes on. So you were right pointing out the shoes before, Tito. It was almost as if it were a double foul because the man was also down. But it is a regulation here in the state of Iowa. If you choose to wear the shoes, you cannot kick at all. Listen. All right, I'm not stupid. Listen. Don't stop with the kick. Listen. Look at these shots. Listen. Left, right hand. Listen. Back up and hit it. Beautiful right yeah. hand. Man. Nice. Look at that. That was the first right hand. Look at that right hand. That he did catch him with. Look at these flurries right here. And then the left hook, right hook combination there by Andrade. Puts him right back into it. But Tex comes back though. He didn't. I mean, it's not like he's just giving up. He's out there ready to go for Bandle. And you have to, you have to believe. Look at these two warriors. Look at their physiques. You have to believe they're in great shape. They possess great skills. Patesh, a warrior out of Brazil. Andrade out of California with the lion's den. These guys are going to war. That's only one five minute Watch yourself when you run. You better get used to going five. You I'll tell you what, off. neither of these guys seems to care about the fact they might eat one when they give one. Yeah. That's great though. Fight smart. Well, with two fouls in the first round, you gotta believe that the judges' cards. Andrade lost that round. It couldn't have been a dominant round for him, so he had to lost that round. And how will that spell out if this goes the distance? Well, it was going to be close nonetheless, wasn't it, Jeff? It certainly is, but I'd rather have a drawn round than one that you know you lose because you did something you weren't supposed to. So now Andrade has to come back with confidence, come back and assert himself, but also have just a certain degree of understanding that if he shoots in too quickly, he could eat a right hand from Batesh, and there the kick again. That's, That's it. it. That's it. It's, it's a wrap. Wrap. It's over. Third foul's over. Yeah. You gotta be level headed. You gotta know what's going on in there. You just can't let things fly like that. I mean, you gotta have a game plan. You gotta know what you're doing. As you can see, he was over a little too over fulfilled, exactly thinking that he wanted to win by knocking him out and doing wild stuff like that, knowing that he couldn't kick with shoes. That that part is. Well, he made the choice, and Jeff, you pointed out that he made the choice to go for the traction, and, and the instincts took over. But it's the wrong instinct to have because can't have it, can't do it, and the victory will go to Batesh. That's too it's, bad right there. Lee. It is too bad because that is going to continue yeah. to be a heck of a fight. That's yeah, a he want to go to war. Yeah, now. that's a reflexive maneuver by him. And for some reason, he's forgetting he has the shoes on. First time in the octagon. How much do you think a lack of experience played there? Uh, about 100% of that one. Very good. Yeah, his corner's pumping him up so much at the end of the round, getting ready for the next round. Totally forgot he had shoes on. That's too bad. This would have been a great fight tonight. But we do have our championship fights later on tonight. So everyone home, get ready. Thank you. Pat Militic, always fun to watch. Lightweight fight, heavyweight coming later. Right now, though, middleweight sorry, decision I'll is official. Andrade right. apologizing to the crowd. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, at 48 seconds of the second round, 
It is a referee disqualification for the winner, Amore Boutin. You know, it really is a shame because this one really was starting to build the momentum of our evening, Tito. Yep, that's good. But, you know, keep a level headed through the whole time. Bad mistakes happen. I did it with Frank, and it'll never happen again. But uh, hopefully we'll see him later on in the future. Patesh is pretty good, isn't he? Right. Was that Andrade or Patesh or Frank Shamrock you were saying we're going to see later in the future? I was hoping. Uh... <laughs> I didn't mean the corny. <laughs> you caught me on that one. Oh, I'm wow. sorry, Tito. That's my bad. But how I feel comfortable in the octagon, I'm getting a little more comfortable talking behind the mic. So. <laughs> Uh, you do a great job here as you do in the octagon. Thank you much, Jeff. But the night belongs to Patesh inside the octagon in that middleweight fight. That's all Patesh tonight. But with a doubt, I guarantee we'll be seeing Drade's later question. Oh, you can see he's got a little something. Tito, yeah. thanks for being with us. Thank you Look much. Look forward to seeing yep. you back inside the octagon.